Welcome to the Banfield Report of the 21st of July 2011. My name is Max Banfield. Today I will be discussing an idea which I developed called the posture theory. I began by considering a condition where there are a large number of symptoms and there were general suggestions. There are such a vast range and diversity of symptoms that it was impossible for there to be only one cause. So I set out to determine the cause or causes of those problems. It's comparable to having a jigsaw puzzle where uh, there isn't a, a picture available at the outset. I'll introduce my talk by describing a scene that I once saw where a group of men were lined up in a row and each of them was holding a jug of beer in front of their body as far as possible. After about 10 minutes they were starting to have difficulty maintaining that position and after 20 minutes or so there's only one man remaining and he was declared the winner and uh, within a short time he had also lowered his arm because of the strain. There's some comparisons to made, be made with the human posture. When the uh, posture is upright, the head is positioned above the spine and is um, maintained in, there in an effortless manner because of balance. However, when there's forward curvature of the spine, the head and shoulders are in a forward position and uh, there's strain on the muscles of the back to prevent that individual from falling over. And as a result, in the long term, uh, it disposes to various aches and pains in the back. The next situation uh, to be considered is um, the uh, effect on the chest. Where the spine is upright and the chest is um, deep, then uh, there may not be any significant effect at all. But if the spine has a, a curvature and the, uh, and the chest isn't as deep, then the direction is more downwards and that can produce strain on the musculoskeletal structure of the chest and disposed to various uh, chest pains. In addition, where there's an additional feature of uh, sideways curvature of the spine, you can influence uh, whether those symptoms uh, tend to occur more frequently on one side or the other. There's also a compression of the lungs and the respiratory muscles and that can dispose to breathlessness. It can also uh, affect those structures and the pattern of breathing and in addition there are other factors such as wearing a tight shirt which can uh, restrict the outward expansion of the chest which in combination can contrib contribute to the symptom of breathlessness. In addition to that there is um, com uh, compression of the air in the chest and that can impair the blood flow between the feet and the brain and dispose to faintness and it can also affect the strength of the uh, uh, blood vessels below the chest and ultimately uh, impair circulation or perhaps affect the regulation of blood flow and uh, impair the circulation in the manner that impairs uh, flow of blood uh, to the brain which can result in a symptom of tiredness and more generally to uh, uh, affect the capacity for physical exertion. The next situation is that the forward curvature of the spine can compress the stomach to dispose to indigestion and the forward uh, structure in the chest is the sternum or the breastbone and that uh, is sword shaped or dagger shaped in, in its structure and at the base is a cartridge chip and when that's directed uh, uh, when, when the pressure is directed downwards it can affect the uh, uh, upper abdomen in the, in the local area just below that uh, uh, structure and uh, disposed to um, soreness or aches and pains and uh, uh, perhaps injury in that area which would add to the problem. There's also that the forward curvature of the spine can displace the internal anatomy and uh, can uh, uh, result in symptoms as a, as a consequence of that secondary effect and also there's forward uh, 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 compression of the uh, kidneys and that can perhaps affect the uh, cause congestion of the kidneys and strain uh, the uh, muscles of the back of the kidneys. And in addition, when there's forward curvature of the spine uh, and the head and shoulders are directed forwards, there's strain on the neck and that can dispose to neck aches and perhaps headaches. There's also strain on the throat which can dispose to sore throat and uh, uh, strain on the larynx which can dispose to laryngitis, affect, perhaps affect the voice and dispose to such, pro such uh, features as hoarseness of the voice and can also uh, disposed to, uh, in some instances, temporary voice loss, which can be remedied by improving the posture. And also, uh, the mouth uh, 
directed back towards the throat and so the nasal passages and the eustachian tubes from the ear and so um, uh, any change in the uh, in the in this area here is likely to uh, affect those structures and result in symptoms that are related to them in addition to that uh, there can be strain on the jaw joint uh, and uh, that can dispose to aches in that general area and also it can tend to have the lower teeth um, push forward against the upper teeth or vice versa and that can dispose to dental problems and uh, gum problems and that's a quick overview of the posture theory I've also designed a, a diagram to uh, show those effects and uh, there hasn't been any particular reason to change that diagram perhaps a few minor details but uh, uh, this, re this reflects that general idea you can see that the uh, vertical line represents the, upward, the, the upright posture and the, uh, the next line forward represents the forward curvature of the spine the next line forward represents the position a person might lean towards while reading and writing and leaning uh, forward and back in relation to those uh, two latter uh, lines uh, the angle of oscillation is uh, disposes to those particular symptoms and these problems are more of a feature of individuals who are sedentary as distinct from other uh, people such as for example farm labourers whose activities throughout the day are more varied and leaning forward once at any particular time is not likely to cause any problems it's the sustained phys physique and also the, um, the duration of any activity that um, uh, can reduce those particular symptoms and um, in so I'll, I'll just uh, briefly summarise it again the forward curvature of the spine puts strain on the back muscles to cause back aches, it can compress the chest to cause chest pains, it can pr compress the lungs and the respiratory muscles to, and dispose to breathlessness, it can compress the air in the chest and dispose to faintness, tiredness and fatigue and it can compress the stomach to cause stomach pains. It's a, a very clear idea. Now I'd like to make a suggestion that uh, supposing somebody um, provided you with a jigsaw puzzle and um, uh, it was complicated and you spent some time putting it together uh, perhaps a couple of weeks and you finally put the last piece in place and it had the perfect uh, it fit perfectly and you had a, a picture of a car on a country road someone could come along and say it's just a car and that may be true but you put the puzzle together and they didn't so you know what was involved and I spent many years developing the posture theory and someone could come along and say that's just posture and I have my critics and um, the difference is I solved the puzzle and they couldn't and without the posture theory the cause of that range of symptoms would still be a mystery I'll end my talk there the name of the posture theory and the idea and the diagram are subject to my copyright. You're more than welcome to discuss and write about them. Um, but please acknowledge the source of the information. Having said that, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. My name is Max Bamford and this has been the Bamford Report of the 21st of July 2011.